So one of my many exercises and drills have all been stolen and specifically this one was stolen from Martin Hall and I've spoken about Martin before and what an influence he's been certainly on my coaching and this is something I saw him talk about a little while ago on Golf Pass was the importance of being able to hit a shot and just to hold your finish in balance. He used Rory as an example and what better example to have than someone who's able to swing and stay in balance. And it's actually a really good discipline to try yourself on the driving range when you're hitting some balls. So I would suggest have a practice swing first into a finish. Can you hold it there for at least a count of three? Shaft behind the back of the head, weight on that left leg, nicely up and onto the right toe. Then see if you can do that when you're hitting some shots. So into your setup, get yourself organized. See if we can do that, see if we can hold it. It's maybe not as good as Rory, but it's not bad for myself. So again, weights forward, I'm up and on that right toe, club behind the back of the head, and I'm able to see the golf ball in its entirety. It really isn't a bad exercise to be doing. And it's interesting that by getting the end correct, it kind of cleans up some other stuff. I'm not saying it's a miracle cure. This game isn't that easy, but it'd certainly help you. Let's see if we can do it again. So into setup, see if I can be, be more Rory. Well, we're both male, I suppose. That's about the only comparison. It's not too bad. My weight's forward. We're up and onto the right tone. Again, I've got that club back and behind my head. So I like that as a drill for you. It sort of flushes out the system, if you like, clarifies some some thinking but great thing to do hit some shots hold a finish even hold it for a count of three give it a go it's definitely going to help your game